The Los Angeles Urban League has been servicing 185,000 people in this community for the last 85 years. In the past, the organization has spent the majority of its efforts on providing job training and placement and youth and business development programs for the African American community. That's right, and Janet Choi is here to tell us about their latest project. Janet, tell us. Thanks, Lula. This new initiative is the LA Urban League's most complex effort yet. It involves targeting issues that are consistently a problem in urban areas. Education, employment, safety, housing, and health. But what really makes this program so different is that they're attacking all these elements at the same time. This list of challenges is why the Los Angeles Urban League picked these 70 blocks as the focus of their new five-year, $30 million neighborhood initiative. And what our model basically says is, if you want to transform a community, you got to do five things. And you have to do them simultaneously. And you have to focus in on education. You have to focus in on employment, health, safety, and housing, all at the same time, as opposed to in a one-off fashion, which has been what we've done in the past. Although the program has already started, the LA Urban League hopes to raise the $30 million in the next year to fund the full five years. But they say these 70 blocks are just the beginning. The big deal in this model is not so much that you change 70 blocks. That's wonderful. But the, but the notion that you build a scalable model that can then be transported to the next 70 blocks and the next 70 blocks. The Urban League has been such a big help here at the Crenshaw campus. What I see here now because of the partnership is I see the community coming in and getting involved. And that's what I think is going to help to change the face of this community. It's going to take a partnership. And that means community, that means the police department, that means Urban League, that means our churches. All of those working together to become the whole wheel, not just part of the wheel, but the entire wheel. I will tell you that when a community feels safe, when a community comes together and stands together along with local businesses, and in this case, a high school that's the center point, uh, it, it can be nothing but successful. I mean, the relationships are strong, and those individuals that are responsible, the small percentage of individuals that are responsible for committing crimes, they don't have a, a control over a community. It's a known fact that communities that stand up, communities that are active, and dealing with crime problems and problems of, of urban decay, those are the communities that succeed. And this is one that certainly not only will it be a model here in the city of Los Angeles, but I believe will be a model throughout the country. Neighborhood Change Initiative is hope. Greatness. Powerful. Community transformation. I think of a better neighborhood, a more positive outlook on neighborhood. Unification. A commitment and a dedication to investing in the parts of our community that have been left behind. Hope for the young ones. We are all about changing neighborhoods, changing them for the better. And the Urban League, certainly in its Crenshaw Initiative, is going to succeed in taking an area that had had more than a share of troubles and making it a model for the rest of the city of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm.